Odd reveals the post office could be responsible for tampering with hundreds of thousands of ballots. One America's Pearson Sharp has more. Evidence of election fraud mounts as the mainstream media and Democrats loudly insist Joe Biden is still the 2020 winner. However, numerous whistleblowers are coming forward with credible information that hundreds of thousands of votes for President Trump mysteriously disappeared on election night. On Tuesday, Jesse Morgan, a worker for the U.S. Postal Service, revealed that his trailer full of ballots simply went missing after he dropped them off. The worker drove his truck from Bethpage, New York, all the way to Lancaster, Pennsylvania, and says he was carrying some 288,000 completed mail-in ballots. Phil Klein, the director of the legal group Thomas Moore's Society Amistad Project, says they have many more testimonies from whistleblowers with similar stories. The project is working to discover flaws and even expose cases of voting fraud in the 2020 election and has already uncovered serious examples of voting irregularities. Backing up President Trump's warnings, Klein explains that the post office was rife with fraud and that many Postal Service workers were taking part in widespread illegal efforts to undermine the election. While the missing truck full of ballots is bad enough, other whistleblowers say they drove thousands of pre-filled ballots right over state lines, which is a federal crime. A subcontractor for the post office, Nathan Pease, said that he was told by two separate postal workers that the post office in Wisconsin had collected and backdated over 100,000 ballots on the morning after the election. Unsurprisingly, others also claimed the integrity of Dominion voting machines has been compromised and cannot be trusted. During a press conference in Arlington, Virginia on Tuesday, the project explained that election officials in blue jurisdictions have failed to maintain the ballot chain of custody, which leaves the door wide open for voting fraud. The project said it has photographic evidence of people improperly accessing voting machines and eyewitness accounts on how the seals on ballot hard drives were illegally tampered with and broken. Klein says that in total, there are over 300,000 fraudulent ballots in Arizona, 548,000 in Michigan, 204,000 in Georgia, and 121,000 in Pennsylvania. Based on this evidence, the FBI has reportedly requested to look at the project's data on voting integrity and potential election fraud.